Hello, and thank you for tuning in to our channel. Before we dive in, we need a small favor from you. Please take a moment to hit the subscribe, thumbs up, and notification buttons below, so you can stay updated on all our latest videos. The situation involving Pakistani pilots training in China to fly the J-31 fighter jets is not as straightforward as it seems because they are not the same model. China's aviation industry is currently developing a land-based version of the FC-31 fighter jet, and it is widely known that the Pakistan Air Force plans to acquire the FC-31. In previous programs, we analyzed the potential impact of the FC-31 entering Pakistan, which would create significant pressure for the Indian Air Force. Furthermore, this development could play a role in opening up the market for stealth fighters in the Middle East. Many people believe that this could become a reality within the next few years. Unexpectedly, a recent report from a Pakistani media outlet states that Pakistani pilots have already started training on the FC-31, also known as the J-31 fighter jet. This news has caused quite a stir after being cited by Chinese self-media. According to the Pakistani media, Pakistani military pilots may directly fly the J-31 back to Pakistan, and the country also intends to acquire the L-15 advanced trainer jet. While this news is exciting, one might wonder if it's too good to be true. Our assessment is that if the Pakistan Air Force indeed plans to purchase the J-31, sending pilots to learn about its test progress and communicate with the Chinese side is a logical step. Test flying an export version of the FC-31 is feasible. Why? Because Pakistan lacks aircraft carriers, so they wouldn't be acquiring the carrier-based version of the FC-31. Even if they intend to purchase the land-based version, it would still differ from the Chinese Air Force's J-31 due to significant variations. The cockpit configuration could also differ. Historically, Pakistan's main fighter jets were imported from the United States and France. These Western aircraft display parameters in Imperial units, unlike China's J-31, which uses metric units. For example, China's fighter jets display altitude in meters, speed in kilometers per hour, and range in kilometers. In contrast, Western fighters show altitude in feet, range in miles, and weight in pounds. Their speed is indicated in knots. What is a knot? It represents nautical miles per hour. This discrepancy is significant and necessitates extensive simulator training for adaptation. Conversely, Chinese Air Force pilots would also need time to adjust if suddenly flying Western aircraft. For instance, how many meters? Perhaps for a while, you'll find it difficult to imagine. For example, at 152 knots or 356 knots, how many kilometers per hour is that? It's also challenging to react quickly. Now, if an emergency occurs in the air. Encountering such parameter conversions, if you can't react quickly, it could lead to serious issues. For instance, during takeoff and landing, miscalculating kilometers per hour or knots could result in issues like stalling or excessive landing speed, ultimately posing risks. Therefore, if this happens, Pakistani Air Force pilots would undergo relevant training while flying the FC-31. However, the FC-31 they fly would obviously be an export version, not the Chinese one. In other words, the entire cockpit system would be labeled according to Western standards. As for any talk about the Pakistani Air Force purchasing the FC-31 soon or their pilots flying it back home, it's baseless. They wouldn't fly the Chinese version back to Pakistan. Because after returning, they'd encounter a series of issues during training. So, would they fly the export version of the FC-31? This possibility is quite likely, but as of now, the export version of the FC-31 is still in the development stage. This test flight is mainly to provide Pakistani Air Force pilots with a flying experience. Based on their feedback and specific tactical and technical requirements, improvements will be made to the export version. So why do I say this? There are several basic facts here. First, the news that the FC-31 land-based version fighter jet will be prioritized for the Chinese Air Force has been confirmed at the Middle East Air Show. This also means that the development of the FC-31 will be prioritized for the Chinese Air Force and the Chinese Naval Aviation. The progress of the export version may be slightly delayed. Therefore, the possibility of the Pakistan Air Force equipping the FC-31 is almost non-existent before the Chinese Air Force and Naval Aviation massively deploy the FC-31. Second, Pakistan has just introduced China's J-10CE, 
and the funds used for this come from China's long-term loans. However, the country is facing serious financial difficulties and does not currently have the economic conditions to immediately purchase the FC-31 stealth fighter. In other words, if Pakistan cannot accumulate national strength in the next few years, it does not have the basic conditions to acquire the FC-31. Third, after obtaining the J-10CE, Pakistan has sufficient capability to counter India's Mirage fighter jets. Therefore, the need for continuous procurement of stealth fighter jets is not so urgent. We need to be cautious. The likelihood of the Indian Air Force acquiring stealth fighter jets in the next 20 years is almost zero. Therefore, the Pakistan Air Force has time to equip itself with the FC-31 after five years, as the operational advantages of the Chinese fighter jets it already possesses are well established. Hence, there is no urgent need to introduce the FC-31 stealth fighter. As for the interest of Middle Eastern countries in the FC-31 fighter, we believe it is not directly related to whether Pakistan procures it. The demonstration significance of China's Air Force and Naval Aviation Corps being early adopters may be even greater. Although the United States has restrictions on selling F-35 fighter jets to Middle Eastern countries, it does not necessarily mean that these countries will turn to purchasing the FC-31 in the short term. Decisions regarding military procurement involve multifaceted considerations, including performance, price, political relations, and military ties. It can be said that the influencing factors here are extremely complex, and there is no need for us to prioritize long-term loans to equip Pakistan with the FC-31, given the higher economic risk. In the age of information explosion, misinformation often spreads faster than the truth. We should approach this unconfirmed news rationally. Regardless, different versions of the FC-31 are currently in intensive flight testing, and prioritizing adoption by the Chinese military before considering exports may be a prudent development choice.